remember, I wanted to do maroon, red, yellow. Okay, got that. That's our color palette for the day. I'm excited. I have been all over my makeup room looking for all of this. Um, this I already had my little duo here. This is my collab with Mob. I know <laughs> yellow, y'all are like, oh no. Oh yes. Especially going into fall. Yellow is such a beautiful color with warm browns. Put on your makeup seatbelt. Let's just go. We're gonna start with clean canvas. I'm gonna use the shade medium. And I'm using medium because I want the eye, I want these to still kind of show up pretty true, but I also don't want them to be super bright. So remember the lighter the base, the truer the color. And I'm gonna, I'm going to be using tones like this and um, this has a lot of red in it as does this so when i use those i don't want them to show up too bright too i don't want to say neon um just too primary i want them to be a little bit more dull and that's why i'm going to use a little bit darker base instead of shade fair which i normally use what i have here is i have a clean canvas all throughout my crease on the lid i'm going to wipe it off my lid because we're going to do the yellow cream clay and i'm going to show you how to use that too um, but before we go, we're, I want to add some red in our socket here. This one's from City Color, just a little bit. And if you're wondering, Rose, why are you putting that on top of a base? Uh, on top of a base, not a base. <sighs> um, listen, red base, it wants to stain your lids. It absolutely does. There's just no way around it. Also, don't worry about that. That's just natural. Um, so my dog just opened the door. Douglas. So this is going to act as a pre-base because staining can happen, probably will happen. Sheila done ran away, hang on, it's chaos here. Now let's take our brush and I did wipe off quite a bit of the base because too much base here can just turn this pink. We do want it to stay pretty red and let's just smooth that out. See, it is gonna stay nice and red. I don't mind if it transitions to pink, but I do wanna keep kind of the socket really nice and red, but I do need it to be nice and smooth. We are gonna put shadows on top of it, so this isn't gonna be a bright look, but it's gonna make such an impact. What am I witnessing out there? Oh, it was a bird. Big bird flying around. I just saw a big shadow and then I saw it. I think it was an egret. We have egrets where I live, like a lot of them. I love them. By the way, fun fact, I don't show y'all my life, but I love to bird watch. <laughs> I love it. Let's grab our Future Flame palette from MAC Cosmetics. I broke it. I don't want to talk about it. It went absolutely everywhere. There was no salvaging. Just cry. So now we have that shadow on this one side of the brush and I'm just going to take it and push it into the socket. It's going to set it. I'm going to do that a couple more times until I feel that it's really nice and set. Look how pretty and burgundy that is. Ooh, I'm excited. I think I want to use black eyeshadow. I'm going to put a poll. Should we use black eyeshadow? We are going to make a town. Okay. So you're still going to see a lot of this get hidden. A lot of the pinky burgundy vibes. But now we're going to take this shade and we're going to transition. I'm going to push it a little bit into our first shades. The more red burgundy. Okay. Push it in there. Don't be afraid to get it in there. Grab some more. Now we'll start to transition it a little bit more. Smooth it out. Look at how smooth that looks. Ooh, that's so pretty. Grabbing more. And I'm just gonna do this till I get the transition I'm after. While the cicadas scream at us. Now let's grab this shade and I switched to an E27 just cause I wanted to do a little bit more detail work and just deepen up this crease. And I'm just pressing and then I'm lightly dragging. I don't ever go back and forth. I'm always going in one direction. If you do see me dragging a brush, usually I'm just going in one direction. I'm not going back and forth. I'm going tap, 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 drag, tap, 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 drag. 
I don't know about y'all, but there is something about a MAC eyeshadow, I can look at it. I just look at it and I go, that is a MAC eyeshadow once it's on. This blend is good. So I did decide I didn't want this to be a cut crease. I want it to be a half cut crease. So I'm gonna add a little bit more clean canvas there. Make sure it's nice and even. Then I'm gonna grab the darkest brown again from this palette. Let's fill that in. We might need a little bit of black, but we'll get there. Super easy. I know that most of us would have thought, well, we've committed to a cut crease now. No, we can still change it up. Let's really pack that in there. So I think I want to do a half cut crease, but I did want to darken. I wanted to use black eyeshadow. I just miss doing heavy makeup. I feel that the trends for, and they still are, I'm not changing. I'm just doing this for myself, getting it out of my system. But I still, I find that I learn a lot more techniques even for myself to help y'all when I do heavier looks. And I feel for a while I just haven't been doing them um, but the artist in me needs to because it's gonna help me help you later. Now it still needs smoothed even a little bit more. Think of it just like we did clean canvas. It's a very similar texture and we just need to, I'm making sure I didn't get any of that black on there. Just wiping it here real perfect. But I'm just making sure it's really smoothed out. That's so important. But that's important with any tacky base. It's even important with a clear tacky base. Just needs to be very smooth across the lid. Time for the yellow, but wait till you see what I'm gonna to top it with. We're gonna grab it on our C30. And the reason we're gonna grab it on this brush first is because we need to do a little bit of carving. This one's the most precise. Also, nothing underneath here. We don't want anything underneath there. The drier the lid space or where we're gonna place this cream place shadow, the better. By the way, this is my collab with Mob. They do come in singles, so if you just wanna get one, you can, or you can get the duo, or you can get the whole daggum palette. But for right now, we're just gonna place and carve with this brush, but we need another brush to make sure it's so smooth across the lid. Also, the tip about the lid being very, very dry, because skincare can even make this crease. So just make sure that our lid space is nice and dry before we apply it. Tap it over this way. Now let's grab the powder side and then we're gonna press this here. But then I kind of want to dull it down a little bit and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. It's gonna be really fun. I'm gonna pack this one on a little bit more. Also notice these pressing motions, that's really important. So I kind of like the brightness. I feel like it kind of dulled down anyways because there's so much black around here that it did get mixed in there. So I kind of like the way it is. That being said, I do want to transition this, transition the black into the yellow just to kind of keep that burgundy going. I decided to go with full moon lashes today, super cat eye. Scoot him over a little, there we go. Y'all better trust that process over there. None of that matters because actually from here up, it's really nice. It's just that bottom part that's gonna be throwing you off. So we're gonna grab our Inglot gel liner. I'm back in my Inglot gel liner, bent liner brush, Inglot Duraline era. Okay, this was an era for me for a long time and I have missed it. because Inglot Gel Liner is one of the blackest liners still that I have ever used to this day. I'm gonna grab my Stila Smudge Stick. I'm actually doing an ad for them tonight. I'm so excited. It's a cute little 90s look. I'm excited to post it. So let's run that across. Okay, I didn't do it as dark as it can be because I wanna top it with red so we go a little bit more maroon. This one's from Moira Cosmetics. They have really fun colors in these. All right, I'm gonna take a little break. These types of looks do take me longer. I'm, I am just wild with precision. I will sit here and try to perfect forever. Let's take a, like a little five minute break and I'm gonna get a quick little of coffee. <laughs> and I will be back and we'll finish the complexion. I also don't know what foundation I wanna use, so that's kind of why I'm gonna go look for some stuff too. I'm back. 
I, I honestly, I think this might be one of my favorite eye looks I've ever done. I can't wait to see it completely done. I just went downstairs and Ben and I met up in the kitchen for a little coffee. <laughs> we act like it's our um, office. <laughs> it is. I mean, we both, we work from home. Um, he helps manage what I do here. And then we have Rose and Ben Beauty together. So we just, we work from home and we were just meeting up in the office kitchen. And he went, <gasps> that is the most beautiful eye look. And he was like, shut your eyes. He was inspecting it. And he was like, I love these colors together. Kind of reminds me of a fall bouquet. And yes, I did get my coffee. I love this. And then this got put to a different part of my makeup room. It does look a little warm, but once it evens out, it's not going to at all. Um, this is the Turn Up the Base BBB Cream. It's very, it's got some coverage. I'm not going to say it's very full coverage, but it's got some coverage. And it's so fluffy, and it just feels so light on the face. And I have forgotten about it, so I, I'm going to leave it right here. I want to start wearing it. Look at how pretty that looks. I'm going to do just one side of my face. Whew, that ear... It's just a little pink flamingo. Here we go. I just love the way it lays on the skin. So I'm filming a TikTok and I did blend my concealer. Um, I used my Natasha Denona. I actually used the shade R4 and yes, this is going to be a little bit warm for a second but there is going to be a pink bronzer involved and then the burgundy blush. It's all gonna come back together. In fact, what I wanna do is we're gonna do our blush first. Sheila just DM me and they said, listen, they didn't say that, I'm being dramatic. But they did say that the smudge stick, which I have been using nonstop, and I didn't even realize it was 50% off today and I'm kinda of glad that I'm posting the video I'm gonna post because I'm gonna tell you all about it. But for right now, for those that watch my story, my family, um, this is 50% off for the 21 days of beauty on Ulta. I'm gonna get y'all the link. What the heck? Oh my goodness. So we're gonna grab this and I already did this side. I wanna add a little bit more and I'm just taking the cream. And not only is this gonna tie everything together, but we can go a little bit heavier here. And then with what's left, we can add a little bit of pink back into the foundation. This isn't scary to do at all. Remember the blue um, powder underneath? That that can be a little bit scarier. This is not scary at all. So if you have some foundations that are just a little too yellow on you and you know you have a little bit of a pink undertone, this is, I mean, look at this difference. So easy. And it's so easy to blend because it's just cream on cream. Sheila just DM'd me and they said, listen, they didn't say that, I'm being dramatic. But they did say that the smudge stick, which I have been using nonstop, and I didn't even realize it was 50% off today, and I'm kind of glad that I'm posting the video I'm gonna post, because I'm gonna tell you all about it. But for right now, for those that watch my story, my family, um, this is 50% off for the 21 days of beauty on Ulta. I'm gonna get y'all the link. What the heck? Oh my goodness. Definitely gotta use my mob bronzer. I'm gonna need a new one soon, goodness me. Push that in. And this will kind of continue to neutralize any of that yellow, but also bronze us up a little bit. So I set with my one size ultra pink, and this is even going to help balance that little bit of warmth. Again, I, I, could, I can fix this and I will. Um, it won't mess with the formula, but I just remember loving it and I don't mind that it's a little, it's honestly it looks perfect now especially once we add everything else, but um, I just love it so much I don't care because I honestly feel so blurred and so full coverage without feeling too heavy. So I'll just go ahead and use my pink powder and I'm gonna get you a link for the puff. Most of you probably have the puff, but if you don't have the puff, it's going to change your makeup life, I promise. So what I did, I am filming I don't even know how many videos in one, but I'm not gonna lose track. That's one thing about me, I can multitask. So I applied a little bit of my Milk Hydro Grip Base. Y'all know I love this one, especially when I'm doing anything underneath here. So that is just grabbing that black eyeshadow and it's even helping it go further. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more. Just I'm talking a baby tap. So let's bring that all the way. Minus this hair I'm trying to shove in my eye. 
And then if you kind of look down into the mirror, you can hit that lash line. And then if you wear contacts like I do, this isn't fluffing into your eye. So we're doing a suspended sparkle balm on our inner corner. I'm gonna get you a link for this. This is such a cool product. I feel like it's probably one of the most difficult products I've ever seen to explain, but once you have it, you don't stop using it. It's wet, but not greasy. It's dry, but it moves. It's too, it's too much. You just gotta, you gotta get it and you gotta try it. L'Oreal Color Riche Lipstick. This is the shade 213. I love this formula, by the way. And then I thought MAC Night Moth was the ideal choice here. It feels so good to paint again. This is painting to me and I have missed it. I feel like we have not been doing these looks. That is today's tutorial. Tomorrow we talk about things. We'll talk about a bunch of makeup, stuff I've tried, stuff I didn't enjoy, stuff that kind of I've brought back into my makeup life. There's actually a few things. I can't believe it. Um, I'm excited. Okay, I love y'all so much. I'm posting an ad tonight, but it's still super cute and you can learn from it. It's a really fun, um, cute, it's a little easy smudgy eye look, super simple. It'll make up for all the chaos that I had done today. Okay, I'm gonna go finish filming some other stuff and in case nobody has told you today, I love you so much.